As a district administrator, you're probably going to want to know how your schools, staff, and students are all using Typing Agent. Thankfully, you can do this from a bird's eye view or a granular perspective. You're going to want to come over here to the Reporting tab for all that information. Okay, there's a lot to unpack on this page, but we're going to start right at the beginning. These four tabs up here are going to give you just weekly averages. Please note that this is for the whole school year, just on average per week, how many things are being done, not for the current week. So this one, this first tab right here, is going to be, on average, how many minutes per week your students are typing in Typing Agent. This is, on average, how many lessons per week they are completing in Typing Agent. Then, we'll see that this is the average weekly percentage. So basically, what this means is that of all the students in your school, this is on average the percent of them that are working with the program. Over here with the Progress Report tab, we'll see by grade, grades kindergarten through 12th, how many minutes per week on average are being practiced in the program. Down here, we've got this monthly average graph. On the horizontal, we see all of the different months of the school year that you've set. On the vertical, we've got all of these colors represented by this little legend up here. The blue is going to be how many minutes, on average per month, the students were practicing. The dotted line is going to be, on average per month, how many students have been logging into the program. The green line is going to be, on average per month, how many lessons have been completed. Coming down here, we've got the, all the reports, if that stuff doesn't really fit what you're looking for, that you can choose from for all of the, district, the schools in your district. We've got a whole bunch of reports. Going over these quickly, the archived data is going to be the reports of the scores of the students that are not in your current year. You'll be able to choose a year and see all of the scores that were achieved. The custom class report, student report and school report over here, and got that order mixed up, the student report and the school report here, are going to be per class, per school, and per students in your district. They're going to give you all these fields that you can choose from to create your own report. Coming down here to the diagnostic test report, this is going to be the information of the diagnostic tests that were done by the students in your district. With the detailed school usage, this is where you're going to be able to see exactly how all of the schools are using the program. This is how much they're going to be having success with it because this is going to give you how many lessons they've done, time spent, average accuracy, and average words per minute. So if you've got multiple schools and you'd like to see hmm, who's doing better, come down here to the detailed school usage. With the district activity report, this is where you're going to be able to see what your staff has done to make changes in the program. So if you're ever in a dispute of who deleted who, this is where you're going to want to go to find that out. Down here with the final evaluation report, these are going to be the final scores of all the students in the Keyboarding Foundations curriculum and the K2 curriculum. So basically what this will do is this will give you all of the students and their finals. The grade usage down here is going to be the averages of the grades that are using the program. So basically, if you've got 12th grade, on average, how accurate are they? On average, how many minutes are they using the program? On average, how many words per minute are they typing? This is going to give you that. The grade level scheduled test report is going to be where you're going to go to review the results of the grade level scheduled tests in your district. The monthly usage report is going to be, on average per month, how the students and teachers are using the program and logging in. The teacher usage is going to be just how many teachers are logging into the program and how their students are doing. If you have any questions on any report that's not answered in this video, come on up here to this Typing Agent logo. This will take you back to your dashboard where you can go to the Solution Center. Simply type in a report that you have questions about, such as teacher usage, and you'll find a full-on guide of how you can use this report. Should you have any questions that we haven't already answered, you can come down here to this little button to chat with one of us in-app. Until then, happy reporting and, of course, happy typing.